And I didn't want to solve problems for the world's 1%. I wanted to solve problems for the world's 99%. I remember there was one day I was walking alone and I was thinking, what am I doing with my, my life? I felt stuck. I had kind of hit a corporate wall. We would learn about case studies of development programs that would come in my country that were supposed to help people. But most of these programs, they had no impact. There are significant disparities in wealth and opportunity in this world, and it's not very straightforward how to address them. So development engineering is about bringing together people from diverse backgrounds to solve complex problems. The values of development engineering, they find a good hope to be at birth. You go around and you see that 45 out of 50 departments are in the top five rank in the whole of the US. That allows for a launch of a new discipline which focuses on human dignity. Development engineering as a field is multidisciplinary. As a development engineer, you'd be working with engineers, but you might be working with sociologists, anthropologists, people in public policy. This program offers a very versatile range of classes in which you can focus on whatever you want to become. For me, it was incredibly grounding to come and find a group of people so much like myself. People from around the world that will have this deep compassion for our global community. They like push you to think critically, so that's something that I, I really appreciate, that I'm given space to think, what is it that I want to do? What is it that uh, interests me? The mentors that have come out of this program that have been doing this work for so long without a label of development engineering, these are mentors that I'm going to have for the rest of my life. There are people who I'm going to pick up the phone and call when I have really tough questions that I'm dealing with. In development engineering, it's critical for students to have experience outside the campus, and that's part of the beauty and the excitement for most of the students. You're not going to come up with a successful solution just sitting in an office at a desk, so. The field work component is absolutely critical. If you are formally trained as a development engineer, you're already ready to sort of hit the ground running when you graduate from Berkeley because you've already got this broad and flexible skill set. Now I do feel more at peace knowing that what I'm doing has an impact. There's a lot of jobs that really aren't benefiting humanity. I think that there's people who are going to work from eight to five and going home and realizing that they aren't helping anybody. I'm a year out of my master's now and now is when I'm appreciating this critical analysis helps you think outside the box. Having my master's has contributed to me being a competent professional in the work that I do. The world needs to heal. We need to heal as a people. The planet needs to heal. Development engineering has a path to that healing. We all have limited time on this planet, and what we do is in our hands. Development engineering exists in an unfair world to make it a little bit more fair.